The age of pump action is over. The time of bolt action has begun. <laughs> I'm Boomstick and today we're going to be talking about the bolt action shell ejecting blaster name still pending so I'm just gonna be nicknaming it bolty for today which is what I've been calling it it should have a name soon so if by the time this video comes out there's a name I'll have it down here and in the title and whatnot but for this video I'll be referring to it as bolty which has been my nickname for it bolty is a 3d printed bolt action springer that fires half darts and eject shells. It also uses proprietary mags. These are actually the same mags that go in the fly point pistol. See? Now Bolty here was designed by G.26 of Shellington Blasters and Mr. Heath Pants. The same people who brought us the Winchester, which I will eventually get around to putting together as soon as I reprint out the body. Bolty also features a thread on barrel to help cover up this aluminum barrel here. They have a handful of different barrel options for you to choose from. This just happened to be the one that I went with. They also have barrel extenders if you want a longer barrel. It also features an adjustable stock. This is the setting that I found to be the most comfortable for me. Now it's not an easy adjustable stock. You do have to unscrew the screw that's right here in order to adjust it. So it's not a simple button push, but it's still Fairly simple, you just have to be able to unscrew out this screw here. Now let's talk about the printing of the blaster. As you'll probably notice from looking at it, it does have that Shellington Blasters aesthetic. And you might like that, you might not. I personally like this style of design. Uh, I do know that some people consider it to be a little too blocky, but I personally enjoy this style. Now I will say when printing this out, there was a good bit of support needed for some of these pieces. So you will be doing a fair amount of post-processing after you're done printing all these pieces. Now assembly, I will say, was fairly easy. However, there are not currently instructions. So I had to build this based off of pictures of other people's blasters, pre-built, and some of the internal design work. I was able to figure it out fairly easily. It does use a crimped plunger, which I'm not a fan of, however, this was easier to put on than most of my Spring Thunder plunger tubes. Now, as far as comfort goes, this thing is solid and very sturdy against my shoulder. It also has a surprisingly smooth prime considering all the stuff that's going on on the inside. This also has one of the smoothest triggers I've ever used. For this trigger, instead of the seesaw style that we're used to with like the caliburns and whatnot, this is a straight pullback trigger. So the trigger just slides horizontally. There's no rocking going on. I just found it to be super comfortable. Let's take a quick minute and talk about the mag design. First thing to note is the mag extenders, which give you a couple more shots. However, they are not as easy to change out if you're using it with a bipod. The mag follower is designed to stop you from closing the bolt without a shell so you don't dry fire when you have a mag inserted. The mags themselves are designed with little holes on the side so you can see how many shells you have in your mag. I do recommend making the follower a different color than your shells so you can tell them apart when they're in the mag. They also designed a slit in the side of the mag well so you can take a quick look and see how many shells you have left. But I know what you're all really here for. You want to see a firing demo. Let's go. A couple of things that I need to clarify before going into the firing demo. It was 27 degrees Fahrenheit, which seemed to affect my shell extractor, which led to lots of failed ejections. My other issue was the new zoom scope, which I should have practiced with more before incorporating it into my firing demo. Despite these hiccups, the shots from Bolty were going 100, 110 feet, which I was very pleased with. With accuracy, I obviously suffered from trying to use this new zoom scope. However, it seemed accurate enough once I started getting the hang of it. Yeah. 
I was very surprised with the FPS considering how smooth the bolt action was. I was getting 225 to 230s with most of my shots. So as you saw, the cold did affect things a little bit more than I was expecting. So did the uh, new scope that I'm not used to yet. So I shouldn't have tried using a scope that I wasn't used to for a firing demo. I should have gone with my normal style until I'd gotten used to the zoom scope. But as far as my final thoughts go, let's start with the pros. If you're wanting something that's bolt action, this might be the way to go. It's extremely smooth and you can build it yourself, which is, I know, very important to a lot of people. And a big pro for me, it has shells. Now, as far as cons go, the biggest one I would say is the ejection issue. Now, as you saw in the video, I was having lots of trouble due to the cold. However, this thing can also be finicky at times to where I'm getting ejection about, I would say 90% of the time. Now, part of that is because I specifically want the ejection to be on the same size as the bolt here. I have been told and tried for myself, switching the bolt to the opposite side as the ejector. So if you want the bolt on your right side, you'd put the ejector over here to have it, the shells eject that way. And that actually does improve your ejection really well, but I prefer the ejection and the bolt to be on the same side, so that's a choice I made. So there is a solution to it, I'm just stubborn. <laughs> and I guess the other kind could be just the fact that it does use shells. While that's a big pro for me, not everybody is going to want the gimmick of shells. As fun as I find them to be, it is an extra step in loading, and it does lead to more problems because the more things that are going on inside of a blaster means the more likely it's going to have a problem. So you're going to want to keep that in mind when deciding whether or not to pick one of these up. I do believe that the bolt action blaster will be available sometime soon. Keep an eye on Shellington blasters which I will have linked down below in the description. I did speak with GDOP about when the uh, bolt action beta blaster might be available and he informed me that they're going to be doing one more round of sending out blasters and kits to people, getting feedback, and then they'll be officially listed for people to get for themselves. So you're probably looking at about like another month or so, but definitely keep an eye out. Thank you all for watching my blaster overview of the Bolt Action Beta Blaster from GDOP26 and Mr. Heath Pants. If you'd like to help support the channel and be one of these lovely people over here, you can check out my Patreon, which I'll have linked down below in the description. And you might want to check that out because for February, we've got a new sticker design. I'm really happy with how that one turned out. That'll be going out in February to all of my $5 patrons. But if you don't want to do Patreon, there are other ways of supporting the channel, one of which being liking the video or commenting, letting me know what you think of Bolty here. You can also share this video and of course, be subscribed. Once again, thank you all for watching and until next time, Boomstick out.